Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast. Now, obviously, normally on Fridays, what I try and do is I try and record the show late on so I, I can include everything that's happened on Friday. Now, it's just my look on the Friday that it feels like a lot of things or some big things are going to be announced. I'm stuck in work. I'm be working in Manchester from 12 all the way until 12. So I won't be able to do a show later on. So I'm doing it now. I'm recording this to you all now at the time. is 20 past nine in the morning. So anything that may be about to happen on Friday, I'll obviously miss it. So what I'm going to do, because I'm working tomorrow as well, 12 till 12. So it kind of feels like a working day to me. So I will be doing either a Claret's Daily News show in the morning and dropping it in the morning or a live and I'll be trying to do a live podcast. Even if I have to do the live podcast on my own, I will try and do it. I've not asked any of the lads yet. I may very well not be on my own. Obviously, if things get announced later today and I need to do... In fact, I'll, I'll tell you what, if, if the manager is announced, I will do a live in the morning, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. I'll, I'll do a live before work. I need to be setting off around 10.30, quarter to 11, just, you know, to make sure I get there and that and, and stuff. So it'll probably be about 9 a.m. But anyway, I'll obviously put it out on social media. I'll obviously schedule the show on YouTube anyway, so you should see it if you subscribe to us. But basically, what I'm trying to hint at is I think Scott Parker is going to be announced today or something will be. And if it's not Scott, it's got to be Perez. If it's not Perez, it's, it's got to be the kits. All, all three. So it'll be just my luck that it's all three. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm expecting Parker to be announced today. I've, it's not inside info. I've, all, I've always said I'm not that kind of guy. I don't, I don't want to pretend I'm ITK or anything because I'm not. I know certain people like to sort of like dig me out and say, oh, he thinks he's ITK. I'm not. I literally just look at stuff online and regurgitate it to you. I've been more than open about that on, on more than enough shows. But I have spoken to a couple of people this time and said, surely it's to today or surely it's tomorrow when I was asking yesterday. And they were like, it, it's all they, they never confirmed yes or no. They just, every single person just said it's imminent, it's very soon. Uh, and that started last night. So I was half expecting it to be announced last night. Obviously, that didn't happen. And now I'm recording this on Friday morning at 9 30 in the morning. Now I'm expecting Parker to be announced today. If it isn't announced today, then. I guess it's going to be at some point this weekend or Monday. But it sounds like Parker's a done deal. It sounds like it's imminent. So fingers crossed we can get something done tomorrow. Fingers crossed we are live on the show tomorrow. And whether you want him or not, I've made my feelings perfectly clear on plenty of these shows. And obviously I'll be doing a fan reaction video and a live. So I'll, there's plenty of opportunity for me to put my opinion across. But whether you want him or not... If he is here now, by the time you're watching this, it's time to back him. But at least, whether again, whether you want him or not, at least it's done, at least it's sorted, and we can now just crack on. We can now just crack on. We know what we've got. We know pretty much what the squad's going to look like. I presume there's going to be a few incomings and outgoings, but I don't expect an absolute madness of a summer like we've had the last couple of seasons. So... We could just draw a line in the sand under it. As soon as it gets announced, whether that's already happened at the time of watching this or it's still not happened quite yet, we can just draw a line in the sand and move on. And fingers crossed, we can get out this league again. Elsewhere, we still, well, at the time of recording this, we still don't have a kit and we still don't know what the colours, the away kit or the third kit are going to be. Or maybe we do. Some of you will have noticed yesterday, the football club, the football club retweeted this themselves, by the way, so... They've only really got themselves to blame. But the football club retweeted a post from Bristol Street Mortars who had put up a video of a girl saying, can you just watch my boss? It's like a trend. She says, can you just watch my boss for a few minutes? And then there's a video of her boss sat there at his desk and he, and he goes through some files and he has, I think, well, I can't remember exactly what it was because basically it was deleted, but he, he goes through some pieces of paper. And on these pieces of paper are Bristol Street, sort of like Motors logos or the website printed out in claret and blue or on a claret and blue background. So I think the announcement with this, I don't know why the, 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 they haven't actually announced it yet, but I think the announcement was with this was sort of like some form of sponsorship, maybe the women's teams, maybe a sleeve sponsor, you know, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what this is meant to be. Again, by the time you're watching this, this might actually come out. But that video was deleted and then that raised a lot of eyebrows and then Bristol Street Motors put it back up, but with 
the colours edited out. So I think that tells me that the home shirt's going to be claret and blue, obviously. And the other two, in which order I'm not exactly sure, I think just going in the order of what this image was, which is obviously on your screen now, you've got a black one and a white one. So because it's going in that order, I would guess at the away kit being black and the third kit being white. I did speak to somebody yesterday. No idea who it was. I'll be honest with you. Just some random that dropped into some Instagram DMs. Said they knew somebody who, who, who knew. Um, and they said... Um, the away kit was black, but they didn't know that I'd just seen this because I actually saw this and then when the club deleted it, I was like, that's obviously why they didn't want the colours getting out. But I didn't make a fuss about it. I didn't say, oh, look, this is what it obviously is. Um, but it's out there now on Twitter. Somebody else has done it. All the other Burnley pages retweeted it. So I thought, sod it, it's out there. I'll retweet it. Um, and then I'll put it in the show. So yeah, I wasn't actually going to do that, but hey-ho, someone else noticed it and now it's already out in the public domain. So it will be remiss of me to... So just completely ignore it. But yeah, it's looking like the away kit or the third kit in whichever order is going to be black and the other one's going to be white. Maybe with some different colour trim on it, like maybe some claret trim on the white one or, or the black one, of course. Um, but yeah, I actually don't mind a white kit. My favourite away kits personally are the yellow ones. If they get them right, they can be horrendous. But my favourite colour of away kits is sort of like yellow with a bit of claret trim. I do like that, but I also like a white one. Never a massive fan of the black ones, I'll be honest with you. I just feel they're a bit bland. You could probably say that about the white one. But do you remember that one in the Europa League year when it was white with sort of like the grey, sort of like darker, sort of like v-neck? Beautiful shirt, that one. Beautiful shirt, that one. But yeah, that's not official. That's not been announced. It's all just sort of like this is why this company did this and why did they delete that sort of thing and then people talking to each other and looking like that's probably the reason why the club deleted it because like I said Bristol Street Motors actually redid the video but had edited that bit out so again I think the club have gone oh you need to delete that you've leaked the colours and they've gone oh shit we'll delete it and then they put it back up so no smoke without fire. I think that tells a story in itself. I'm pretty confident there will be the colours just based on that alone and a couple of conversations I've had since then. Um, but yeah, not official yet. Hopefully we get a kit soon. We've been told the kit's on the 10th. What are we on now? The 5th? Stupid watch. Text forever. Yeah, it's the 5th now. I, 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 I heard the kit was the 10th, but someone else also said yesterday that it's going to be today. So I guess we'll see, but it's looking like the colours of the kits are going to be claret and blue, obviously, one black and then one white. In terms of transfer rumours, there wasn't too much around yesterday, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, but we did pick up on something, and this is from a, a freelance, I think he's freelance anyway, there's no place of work in his title, but a lot of journalism stuff on his actual Twitter account, but a freelance French journalist called Mohamed Toubash, Toubash, I had no idea, again, you know how bad I am with pronunciations, I don't even know why I decided to start a YouTube channel when I can't even speak properly, um, but anyway, um, his Twitter at is Mohamed to Paris, uh, and he says, Burnley are interested in SM Khan forward, Andreas Ho, Hoon, Hoon Tonje? Again, it's bordering on offensive at this stage, I have Definitely apologise, but Andreas Hountonje. He's a 21-year-old who is apparently valued at €4 million Euros by this club. I'll be honest with you, we picked up on it yesterday. Um, no idea whether this guy is credible, no idea whether this is true or not. Um, always put that disclaimer out there, especially when it's a source like this that I have never come across before. If At least with Football League World, for example, I know it's a load of tosh, and I know just to mention it and say, yeah, you can forget about this. And at least with Nixon, I can say, sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. Whereas with this guy, no idea. He could be the best French journalist in the world. He could be the French equivalent of Football League World, for example, or EFL Hub, for all I know. But yeah, according to him, Burnley are interested in um, Andreas Untunje, 21, like I said, but his club value him at around €4 million. Euros. So even at this stage, if he is correct and he has good sources at that club or in that league, then it's just interest at this stage. So obviously when the manager is signed, sealed, delivered and announced, we might start seeing a few things moving as well, such as friendlies, for example, like I know there was a lot of chat about this Hoffenheim friendly, which came from the fab. I'm not sure they were supposed to tweet it, but a couple of them did. Um, and I was told that it is legit, but it's not in Hoffenheim. It's going to be sort of like on a, um, I think somebody said on a, a random neutral town just on the border of Germany. 
But again, no confirmation from the club on this. Still nothing. And I've now got all my shifts booked in July and August for work. I mean, I'm obviously I'm freelance, so I could probably cancel some, but you don't want to, do you? Because then you stop getting shifts. So anyway, nothing about my personal stuff, but it's, it's frustrating that we don't have anything announced yet. So let's get some friendlies announced, please, because I would like to hopefully get to one of them. I, I wanted to go to Hoffenheim, to be honest with you, but um, I'll be very surprised if I managed to get to the one of the ones that are out of the country now just because it's been announced so late. So if you are one of them ones that's fortunate enough to still be able to go, then massive respect to you. I am well jealous, but obviously nobody knows yet because we don't know when or where they are. But that's it for today. Like I said, unfortunately not too much out there. A lot of it was just hearsay, especially on Parker and the kits. Um, and again, the, this this other other source about the, about the forward coming in. I'm not even going to try and butcher his name again. No idea whether or not that's that's any good of a source, to be honest with you. But like I said, if Parker is announced today, it's taken me around 15 minutes to record it. There's still been nothing. But if it's announced today, then we will definitely 100% be doing something tomorrow. And I am 95% certain it will be alive on the show before I go to work. I'm sorry, on the YouTube channel before I go to work, even if it's just me. But I'm sure when when it's announced, I can ask some of the lads and somebody, at least, at least one person, will be able to come on and chat to me with us and if not you guys in the comments please that would help out massively but you always do that anyway i know i can always rely on you but if you're new here don't forget to subscribe for all your latest burnley news all your latest burnley debate shows live podcasts and stuff like that and we'll be back with the claret's daily news show probably monday now i know i said all the stuff about might be doing that another one tomorrow but i'm leaning more towards a live but we will be back doing something on the channel tomorrow morning if we have a big announcement, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.